What is that? That is, looks like a little book stand. Oh, it's a newer piece. It comes from Ross. We can, oh, do I see a Hager piece over there? This is a very cheap reproduction piece trying to look like Bohemian glass. But it's this not. Cool They're bringing out a cart of stuff. And I see a motorcycle on top of there. Can you go snag that motorcycle, Noah? I'm missing my hair. You you did get a haircut, didn't you? I like it when it's, it's all fuzzy. It's like a little puppy. You know when you scratch a puppy? <laughs> we are at Goodwill, and Noah wanted to come with me. Uh, we left Rachel at her dad's house. She did not want to come shopping, so it is just Noah and I on this trip to one of my favorite Goodwills. It's way, way out in Henderson. I haven't been to this Goodwill. Yes, you have. I have? You have. Indeed. I have? You have. Oh. You have. You'll recognize it when you get in. Um, but the reason it's so good is because there's no other thrift stores around here. Like, this is it. You want to donate stuff, you drop it off at this Goodwill if you live on this side of town, which is just makes it spectacular, the, the quantity and quality of stuff that they get here. So, we are going to be picky. We're going to be picky. We're going to be picky. Because we have to hit two Goodwills and we don't want to fill up the car. Well, it's not just that. Is that I'm still one man down at home with Carrie still out sick. So I don't want to get so overwhelmed with stuff I can't stay caught up. So we're going to go in. We're going to see what we can find. Let's get shop done. Let's go. All right. What's the first thing we got to do, Noah? Lucky car. I'm going to let you pick it. That one? Let's go. So Danny had to make a pit stop, which means now I am left in charge of the phone. So we're going straight to the kitchen -y bits. I've got a coffee maker at home. A really good coffee maker. I don't have a blender, I don't think. I think we have a, wait, do we? I think we do have a blender. I have no idea what that is. It is a, oh, it's a convection oven. It's a pizza, pizza oven. I don't make my pizza homemade yet. I want to. I really, really want to. Homemade pizza sounds really good, like with the dough and the cheese and all that. Ooh, it's an apple. Ooh, that's heavier than I thought it was gonna it's be. It's a fake, like, root apple. It's like, I'm not sure what this uh, material is, like a sisal, I, I think. I think it's meant to mimic like roots, isn't it? I don't think so. I think it's just a nice, decorative, primitive looking apple. But what do I know? Ooh, this is funky. That is kind of funky. I like the ones that make it look like they're sitting in water. I kind of do too. Do you? But they're usually, I usually don't like the glass ones. Oh my gosh, I found the most awesome thing today, Noah. I found fake tomato plants. Like the whole plant that's growing little tomatoes. Oh my goodness. That is. It's not a swung vase though. It's just a decorative vase and those don't do too well. Um, but yeah, so I have the illusion of, uh, I guess those would sit like that, of growing tomatoes when I'm really not. Well, we should grow tomatoes. You think so? I think so. You I go, use them. I'll buy you the, I'll buy you the tomato plants. You grow them. No, I cook the food, you grow them. <laughs> or Rachel can grow them. Yeah, I'm them. afraid I don't have time to uh, take on growing tomatoes. And I'm not a really big tomato fan, so. Well, we should grow herbs. Yeah, the herbs you should probably do. This is very 80s. I want to cook the fresh herbs. Very 80s, again. I like it, I don't quite like the colors. It's, it's very, I'm just telling you, it's very 80s. That's all I can say about it. 
Oh, I love to look through the office supplies. You can find vintage stuff. You can find really good functional usable stuff. Those are like teacher supplies. Old Rolodexes and such. What are those? You'd hand these out and they'd be, then you'd have a marker here and then a little whiteboard for like graphing. Well, why do they have little, oh, for graphing? I have no idea. Like a math class. Oh. And the other side you have. Oh, the there, that one. side is clean. Yeah, those are like math boards you hand out for a math class. That's a cool. Mel. Melee? Vintage for some kind of jewelry. Kind of cool. And let's see. Oh, Noah. Look at that. It's got all the conversions on it. And the measuring cups. Some of the measuring cups. Yeah, that's okay. Those are replaceable. But the whole thing is kind of cool, huh? I wish we had a wall to put that on, though. We really don't. Yeah, our kitchen doesn't have a lot of walls. Nope, we don't have kitchen, kitchen walls. A lot, of, a but, lot of, like, ceiling space. But that is cool. And horizontal wall space, but it has no vertical Oh, he's wall attached space. to that. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. What are you? It opens. I know, it's a little box. But I'm trying to figure out what the little guy on top is. He needs a little more gluing there. Oh, he's got a name on here. My father. March 2018. He's not that old. Oh, there's something like it was painted over. He's really kind of adorable, though. I think it's just a little handcrafted piece. <laughs> you and the masks. You and the masks. This is a Pier 1 angel. I can even tell it's Pier 1. Because it says Pure One on the bottom. <laughs> I'm not that good. <laughs> I didn't see it. Ten bucks though. All right. Let's see, we got a, a doggy leash holder, it looks like. Pineapple. Oh, well, pineapple, yes. but remember, we're being picky. We're being picky today. Oh, look at the birdhouse with the dog paw. Wood. Or is it a dog house? A dog. I don't think you could fit even a little peanut sized dog in there or an Aussie sized dog. I'm trying to see what these are. It just says wood ornament, but they'd make good coasters. Horizon group apple. I don't know. They're just little wood, little wood apples. Do they have two cents? Yeah. They oh, just both that. Wood yeah, the they're, uh, oh. A pipe holder. $2.99. I actually have some pipes that I can't remember if I have a holder for them or not. I think I might. I cannot relate to this. Uh, you cannot relate to that, and I'm glad. <laughs> All right. Oh, what is that? That is... Looks like... A little book stand. Oh, it's a newer piece. It comes from Ross. $4.99. There are older ones of these that I think can do quite well, but this one is not older. It's a reproduction. So we will leave it. Oh, there's my favorite little thing. The, the little hidden books. I love these. $5.99 for the small one. Yeah. We will leave those. Oh, from Honduras. It's a big bird tray from Honduras. He's got some wear and tear to him. It's Meritier. It's even got that little tag on it. He's $7.99. Hmm. He would be a wall hanging. He would. He would hang on the wall. I don't know if I like him $7.99 worth. He, he does look a little bit like Bougie, though. He does look like Bougie. I think I'm going to get him. Is this got a book in oh it is it's got a tigger book in there how cute the book ends does the book come out yeah it does the and then you can read the it's it's tigger and his friend poo oh give me an e that's a big e oh give me a g 
That's an even bigger G. That's an even bigger G. Another little handcrafted piece here that I cannot get open. There we go. Someone's little project piece. Oh, look at like somebody's whole collection of project pieces is here. That one's kind of a cool, kind of a cool car. You know, I would say, do you need an umbrella? But this isn't quite an umbrella. It's not an umbrella. Those are for shoes. We've talked about this before. We have. We have. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these little boxes. Like this one's really sweet. Look at this. It's a bird. It's a little wood bird. That's a great little bird. You like that one? I do. Uh oh. Well, he is only $1.50, so put that little bird, and it's great tech. put it in the cart. Back to what I was looking at over here uh, was this one that's got this big birdhouse on it. And what's really attracting me is the fact that it's got these little miniature parrots, almost look like little toucans sitting on there. Ugh. Do I need this one in my life? I really... I feel like it would be better without the box. I know. That's what's throwing me is the box really doesn't add any value to it. So I'm going to leave it. Remember, I said I was going to be picky. We've got some wood vases handcrafted by Big R. Let's see if the other one... Big Ard. <laughs> it was just Big Ard. $2.99 a piece. I think we'll pick those up, Noah. Looking at. I was looking at this. A little sneaky snake. Is he wood? He is wood. He is. He's kind of cool. I kind of like the little snake. $2.99. We're going to grab him. That's an interesting little bowl that's carved out. I think it's supposed to be an apple. Looks like it's got some age on it. I think it's an apple. For $1.99? I think we're going to put that in the cart too. These look like they're trying to be lava lamps. They're trying to be lava lamps? But they're not. Not quite. These are, I think, picture frames? Yeah, they're like laser cut picture frames with birds. They're nice, they don't but have any, they don't have any nothing, nothing super exciting. But we can leave those. We can. Oh, do I see a Hager piece over there? We need to go see. I think this is Hager. I know. I see the dolphin. The dolphin is right here for three ninety nine. You know, I probably should. Oh, he's even got a boo boo. He's got a chippy. But you know what? That won't hurt Rachel's feelings. She'll take him just fine. Okay, I do believe this is Hager. I'm going to use Noah's two-handed approach to lift this up and see on the bottom. It is $24.99 though. Oh, came from Wix Furniture and it is indeed a Hager piece that sold for $59.98 originally. Okay, you can stand it back up, Noah. Now the question is, do I want to pay 25 for it? That is a piece. I'm going to have to look up comps. All right, well, it sells for about 50 to $55, so I'm going to leave her at 25 There's just, it's too big of a piece to, to deal with for, for that small of a margin, and I know $25 might seem like a big margin, um, but there's so many more things I can deal with in that same amount of space and time that uh, would do so much better. And that's 25 before the cost of shipping and... Exactly. And so that's kind of a cool that. piece there. I'm looking to shelf down at the little dog. The little dog is cute. Again, he's one of those pieces that's like glued onto a box. Is he? Yes, he is. I know, somebody just went crazy gluing stuff onto boxes around here. These look like Bradley girls. This is an old Bradley doll. These can do okay. I've never done really super well with them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mandalay Bay. It's kind of a cheaper um, souvenir piece from the Mandalay Bay. Yes, but she's into dolphins. 
not so much orcas, so we're safe. We're good. What's this little owl guy here? They want eight bucks for that little owl guy who's not even marked. Anyway, yeah, the Bradley dolls are kind of kind of hit and miss. They can sell, but it's not my niche. Oh, look here, there's one. You can. This is like somebody's whole collection of Bradley dolls. But you can see on the bottom here's the tag. Like four dollars for one that size. Look at they got all kinds of them. Hmm. Somebody will scoop those up. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Is that a corgi? Or is it a fox? It's colored like a corgi with a stick in his mouth. And do you know who's corgi crazy? Carrie? No. Uh, Your sister. Jordan. Oh, Jordan. Jordan is corgi crazy. So I think we have to get that for her. Oh, sweet little bird, but you have a chipped beak. You're a gobel too. That's unfortunate. That's a bummer. All right. I want to see. Hold on. Move a few things over here so I can get to this guy who has an interesting look. Hmm. Something's playing music. I know. I moved that music box. Oh, this is a music box too. But you can see just the Made in China sticker there. So. He is made in China. Somebody once asked me, why do I pass on things made in China? It's not, it's not just the fact it's made in China. It's, it's because they're usually mass produced. It's right? the whole quality aspect. It's, um, you know, what was the original resale on it? You got to take all of those things into consideration. So the made in China just kind of verifies that there's not going to be a super high resale value with those other things in consideration. Behind it, we have a really cool Disney piece. 75 years, limited to 1998 production year. It's 10 bucks. Now it's got, I think, a little bit of damage on Dumbo's trunk. Hmm. And then it would have held something, but I don't know what it would have held. Oh, but it's even got the little mushroom fun Fantasia. You know what? I think that's a good pickup for 10 bucks. And I see this colorful thing in a bag back here. That's a very interesting looking duck. It's got happy holidays and a special 2013. So it looks like somebody handcrafted this little guy. It's really cute. I found something for my room. You found something for your room? Oh, that's a really cool dream catcher. And it matches the colors. It matches the colors. <laughs> Score for Noah. Nice. What's that? Bavarian. Little Bavarian set. We've got the goose with the blue ribbons. Oh, she's got little geeseys over here to go with her. This is a very cheap reproduction piece, trying to look like Bohemian glass, but it's this not. Is a cool clock. Oh, look, there's more geese. You sit right there. Hold on, got to show them what you're looking at, Noah. I don't even know what it is. It's a clock. Lehman Designs. It's funky. Oh, I was already on that shelf. I was working my way down this way. Sometimes I forget. Oh, there's another piece of Hoya glass. I actually know what this is now because I've picked up several pieces. So it? it's called Hoya. It's ice. It's supposed to look like an iceberg. And for $5.99, we're going to pick it up. I spotted this plate with the carousel horse on it that I thought was pretty nice. Oh, those are deep scratches. Deep, 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 deep scratches. So we've got to leave that baby, but... And then I saw this little stained glass angel sun catcher. It's kind of nice, but looks like she's got some damage there. Yeah, she does. All right, let's move on. Ooh. Ooh, look at the spun glass. Oh, they're bringing out a cart of stuff. And I see a motorcycle on top of there. Can you go snag that motorcycle, Noah? 
This is Cinderella's castle for $3.99 in spun glass. And there is not a thing wrong with it, amazingly. So we're gonna grab that. And snagged these off of the cart. They've got buttons on them. Oh, they're plastic though. I thought they were metal. Yeah. But they're $19.99 Marvel? Oh, this might be a good thing for whatnot. I'm, I just got approved to sell on whatnot, what so oh. I am going to pick these up. Is that one Marvel also? It's Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. Oh, these are, these are really good, I think. We're getting those. All right, I'll show you the stuff we grabbed off of the cart in just a moment. I find a lot of seagulls at this store, a lot of them. You've picked them up before. Well, I know. I pick up every one I find because they're super cool and I love them. And, and um, this one's going to follow that same And that one is following the same path. Yes, for $4.99. Oh, we got a little glass slipper that kind of goes with the, the carriage. For $0.99, cents, I think I will grab the glass slipper. That would make a good little giveaway in my live sales. And let's see. There's anything of else. Carriage, oh, there's a rabbit eating some cabbage. Cabbage. Thing. What is that? I don't think that's cabbage. I think that's it's lettuce. It's close enough. It's lettuce. <laughs> he's cute. He looks like he's made in Japan, actually. A little made in Japan turkey. Huh. It's a little. Is it a napkin holder? I think so. He's just a small napkin holder. He's got one little teeny tiny ding in his head but that's not a big deal i think we're gonna grab him oh there's another shoe this one is a ring holder shoe i'm trying to be picky in the car i know i know this is what happens to me every time when i try to be picky garden of good wishes russ 2.99 okay this is me being picky i'm gonna put you back this looks like a little vintage piece from Grace China, made in Japan for $5.99. Would be better if it had a creamer to go and make it a set. Don't go where the Can you, path Yeah, that's heavy. Lead. Pull that out Don't of there for me. where there is no path and leave a trail. That is heavy. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Well, you know who would like that one too. Let's see what we got down here i see something very interesting on the bottom i think oh yes he is he looks italian these guys are these are cute little cute little baby butts <laughs> all right let's put you over here and look at our little chicken now i do see a chip already on the back which gosh darn it oh elise ski rock man made in greece wow that is, uh, I think, I think we're going to get it. Even with that little chip, I, I just think this is a spectacular piece. thought for sure it was Italian, and it's not. It is from Greece, so we'll get that. This is kind of true. This is kind of true. Let's see what this chicken plate is. Are you ready? That is so cute. I would like a whole set of those made in Malaysia. Queens. Probably came from like home goods or something. Got these little transferware guys. These are polychrome transfer, which just means several different colors. They kind of look like courier and Ives. I have no idea what any of that is. Really neat looking plates. $3.99. This one's. Oh, it's Vernon Kilns? It looks like it's got some damage here, though. That's not a big deal. On the back like that, it's... Gosh, I really kind of like these. I'm torn. I'm torn. It's the cows. It's the cows that are pulling me. But this is me being picky today, and I will leave them. Oh, I'm going to break my candle rule, and I'm going to save this little guy. We just got to make sure he doesn't stay in the car. He's got to go right in the house. Is the whole thing a candle? The whole thing's a candle. That will never get burned. Yeah, let's see what else we got up here. Party light. Another pretty little trinket box made in Japan. 
pretty little egg. Might be a left in. No, it's not marked. What is this? That is, I guess you could kind of call it a fairy lamp kind of a thing. It's a candle oh, holder. It's, loose. it's not even. Yeah, that's two pieces put together. That's weird. Oh, look at these cute little eggs and bunnies and stuff. We will put that back. That's a candle. These are cute little candles. We're in the candle section. Glass mosaic. Ooh, that's a nice. Nice candle holder. Why can't we find a glassy baby? That's what I would really like to find. Still haven't found one in the wild. This is one of my favorite patterns for a punch bowl. That does not go with it. Um, this is slewed horseshoe. And I actually have two complete sets of this that I just, I won't let it go for cheap. I just can't do it so I hold on to them this is kind of a cool base $5.99 it's funky can't tell if that's a signature or not uh, I don't think it is I don't think it is either it's just like a little scratchings okay this is me being picky again I'm gonna leave you behind I think what I'm really dreading is the comments I'm gonna get with people upset that I left something behind that's avon it's you really can't find everything really cute though let me pick it all up i know i know i just don't like to upset anybody it's kind of my thing i keep thinking maybe i'm a taco and i can keep everybody happy <laughs> oh goodness oops when they have batteries they're not old <gasps> noah look at him Oh, my goodness. What does he hold? What does he hold? I have no idea. Oh, gosh. He's $7.99. I know. This is me not being as picky as I should be because I have to get him. And then we have a little paperweight rose. Made in China, but it's still super pretty. For $1.99, I think we're going to grab that. This guy's just very resin and not real good quality not that the other one is super good quality but oh look these springtime avon is what these were i'm gonna put these down here so that somebody can find the whole set all right let's see we're in kitcheny stuff did you already come down this way did you just uh, i did not i, I don't know where you did around. i don't know where you did some I noah cam all the way over there oh you were in a different spot for noah cam all right, all right. I went down like the actual kitchen bits. You went down the actual kitcheny bits? Blenders and pizza ovens. And oh, the like oven. the electronic kitchen stuff. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oop. This is resin, but it's kind of a nice quality resin. I don't see any damage, or do I? No, I think that's just part of the construction of it. $1.99 needs a little cleanup, but I like the angels. We'll get those. Ooh, that's a nice covered wagon. wagon. What is that made of? It's made of wagon. It's resin. Look, it, it's got a broken piece that you can see. This wheel is also twisted. Yeah, it's kind of a cheap, cheap covered wagon. That's cool. It is cool, though. For $3.99, that's not a bad price. It'd be cooler if it was made of wood. It would be cooler if it was made of wood. I agree. You're gonna skip over the pirate ship down there? Pirate ship? What? Oh, it's part of, oh my gosh. That <laughs> is interesting, but it's huge. And very heavy. But it's on this gold velvety background. That is like so 70s, wow. It is signed, what does that say? I can't read it. I can't read it either. Goodness, it's $12.99. Yeah, that one just doesn't excite me too much. We'll leave too that. Big. Leave it for somebody else. Let's see what else the metal. Ooh, that is a very metal heavy section. Iron. You know, this is how people used to iron. Well, it's really heavy. It's they were heavy, and they would heat these up, and then iron, and then they'd have to put it back in the fire, heat it up again, iron some more. That sounds difficult. Can you imagine that women had arms of steel because of these? It's 
kind of cool. I like it. You like it? It's a little it's a little beat up for resale, but if you want it for your room, you could you could have it. All right. All right. Have at it. Pieces like that. I got ships it. seems to be the theme of your room now. Ships and airplanes. Generally... Charleston, South Carolina. That wasn't a good sound. <laughs> it wasn't, but they're just popping things around in here, putting stuff on the shelves. There's an interesting aluminum plate. It's just got a neat shape to it. It is Foreman Family. I haven't heard of that one. I just found something really cool. You found something cool? I was skipping ahead and I found... Oh, you found an old postal scale. Wow, that is old. Look at the construction of that. Yeah. That is a nice find, Noah. It Who is. makes it? Palouse. 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 Patent date 18, 6, or 1896. 1896 patent. 399. I think we should get that. What is getting a really good eye? These are. I just thought it was cool. Tell me if that doesn't feel like plastic. Plastic. That feels like a plastic coating over Plas something heavy. Yeah, well the marble's heavy. Like they used a real little piece of marble and plastic. I don't understand. I don't get why you would use plastic and marble. That's an older piece. Ah, uh, can't read what it says. Oh, it's peeling. That's not good. I still can't read what it says. Something imports San Francisco, made in Japan. That's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame. That's an interesting. Oh, this is really heavy, Noah. Wow. This little. I'm not quite sure why that's got a hole in the bottom. Unless that was like drilled in there to make a lamp, maybe? I have a feeling that's what somebody was doing with that. I'm not sure what that would hold. Well, it was probably drilled out to make a lamp. That's what I'm assuming. All right, nothing else on the metals. Oop, except maybe a little dried flower candle sconce. Kind of like that. $4.99. Wish there was two. It is starting to come a little bit apart in there. Nah, I'm gonna pass on it. Me being picky again. Alright, we're in the bathroomy stuff. Wow. Need some cuticle scissors. <laughs> There's a whole package of cuticle scissors. There's something you don't see every day. Like if you were putting together some sort of a little baskets or something this might actually be a really good really good purchase how about some hair noah like i might i might need this fan for the new <laughs> you could you could rock some you could rock some brunette there or or would you rather be uh auburn it's a little auburn hair you are such a nut this is a cute little strawberry jar it's 2.99 though Mm. Why would somebody do this to the bottom of something? Uh, to keep it from scratching the surface that it's on. Putting something on the bottom is pretty, pretty common. Pretty common. Oh, sorry. Another shoehorn. I guess apparently people are still using shoehorns. I found out after my last shoehorn find and asking that question. So I learned something. I like learn learning things. Square pastels. Hmm, I know a little girl who could use these. We are in their crafty kind of section over here. Whoops. Yarn. Puzzles. Oh, that's got a dolphin on it. What is it? What is it? Created by me, Sea Life. Oh, you paint them. Mm. Do I dare give her any more projects to do? I get her lots of projects. 
I do like these though. Dolphin for her and a whale for me. Okay, I found kind of a quiet spot to show you what we pulled off of the cart. We have a little flying pig sculpture for $3.99. Oh, my little candle is getting, he's getting kind of messed up. Uh-oh, we need to rearrange this cart to keep him safe. You can get in there. Noah got an airplane to add into his room decor. It's kind of a cool one. It's um, it's heavy. It's metal. It's what does that say on there? I cannot read it. Mm. Gearbox. Gearbox. That's what I see there. So we got that. I think that's all, except when I already showed you the motorcycles. So I think that's all we pulled off of the shelf. Okay, let's look a little bit through some more kitchen stuff here. Lots of kitchen stuff ends up at thrift stores. I think that's like one of the easiest places for people to clean out in their house and get rid of stuff is the kitchen. And then the thrift stores get the benefit of that. That's an odd... Uh, I, I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. Like, it's not really like a rolling pin. Again, I'm not a baker, so somebody will tell me what that is, I am sure. Anything down here? I don't see anything grabbing my attention. I do see the starfish, but I can tell this is like a threshold, which is like Target, Kmart kind of quality. So not super exciting to me. Little dishes. A little terracotta kind of canister guy here. Pier one. That's kind of nice. They want 10 bucks for it though. So that kind of deters me from purchasing. I've got some acorn salt and peppers. They are newer. Nothing there. These little referee, little referee bowls here. Hallmark. Which are cute. For your football parties. Anything? Nope, nope, no. Nope. Nothing's catching Noah's eye in this department either, although that's quite striking. And it's got this look of that bowl that I got, but these, um, I don't know. I don't know how about tidbit trays are doing that aren't like super old. This is not super old and it's clear glass. So I'm, I'm talking myself out of it because it does not hang. It's just a tidbit tray, babe. That's just a handle. Yeah, I'm going to talk myself out of it because clear glass is really easy to come by and we do need to be picky today. Alright, let's look through the bowls, Noah. TV binging bowl. Just one more episode. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got a baggy. Oh, there's more scissors, more cuticle scissors. Only those ones are not in their original package. Caratino Siciliano. Sicily, Sicily, I'm guessing that means like Sicily, like Italy. Nothing really exciting about that though. Except that it, you know, came from Italy. Whereas on the other hand, that one's quite beautiful. And it is melamine. Can you believe it? It's heavy, heavy. Like, yeah, I almost you, thought yeah. it was ceramic. You're going to abandon me? I'm going to abandon you and go check over there. I saw something. Okay, go. Go, go, go. In other words, that means I am pulling my own cart right now. Let's see who makes you. Oh, that's got a cool name on it. Let's pull this out and see who done it. The studio something. Boy, this has a very anthropology kind of a look to it. These are quite striking. And that one plate was priced at $24. They went $3.99 for the stack of three. Yep, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get some plates turtles 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 they're just made in china turtles but 
This is the type of thing that will sell on eye appeal and there are six pieces for $7.99. It's quite beautiful and I think I will get it. I will actually sell sea turtles because I have defined my collection now down to um, turtles that are more like tortoises. Pizza pie slices. I wish there was more of these. Those are cool plates by Godinger. Broccoli. Broccoli pizza. I don't know. Is that a thing? Some I am sure somebody on. out there likes broccoli I on their pizza. Multiple different plates making up a whole pizza of them. Yeah, I like, think they do. I think all the different ones, all the different ones would have had a different pizza topping on them. Cute little souvenir cups, not worth a whole bunch on the resale market. I don't think anything here needs to go in the cart. They always have so many mugs here. We'll golf for food. Oh, it's a big hug mug. I don't know. These have kind of sustained their value quite well. This one's super clean. Um, what was the movie that made this famous? Was it the was it the Big Lombrowski or something like that? I don't know. There was a movie that made this mug famous, and uh, so they retain their resale value quite well. Buck forty nine. We're gonna get it. And this looked interesting. Chromatic stoneware. But it's just a single, just a single. And this Sunset Hillstone Ware, okay, made to look like that Deneen pottery, which does sell really well, but it's not. Pinky and blue boy. Look down here. Oh, look at that big old uh, mixing pitcher right there. That's kind of cool. It's heavy. Oh, it is heavy. Just says home decor from Hobby Lobby. It was for $2.49 on clearance at Hobby Lobby. That's yeah, more expensive here. Hobby Lobby does do some really, really good sales. I say that all the time. You have to understand Hobby Lobby pricing to know how to price the stuff for resale because anybody who shops Hobby Lobby knows that at some point that stuff's going 50, 75% off. London Bridge, Lake Havasu. I have driven over that bridge. Yes, yes, I have. All right. Anything else, Noah? Nothing catching your eye? I know. Not much in the mugs today. I just bought some military mugs today. It's from Desert Storm. Yeah, that one's Desert Storm, which is cool. But I'm going to see how the ones do that I got first before I buy any more of that kind of mug. What do we got here? Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. Oh, you know the tune. I didn't even know you knew the tune of the Flintstones. You watch the Flintstones? Yeah. I didn't think you were a Flintstones kind of a kid. All right. Good to know. Learned something new about my son. Ooh, those are really pretty. My lister is kind of mad at me right now because she's been listing the glassware. <laughs> she's like, I'm sick of glassware. So I'll cut her a break and I won't buy any more right now. Oh, look at these. Yeah, those look like Lolitas. This looks like hand painted. They, well, if they're Lolitas, they would be. Yeah, that's a Lolita martini glasses. That oh, one's really cool. It's kind of a cool one. And then they have like a, a recipe on the bottom. They used to have really, really good resale value. Now, not so much. That one's not Lolita. That one's a Lolita. Yep. Yep. Cool, cool. Come in these containers like this. So like that one was Christmas Princess. So I think some of the ones that you get them in their original boxes like that can still be worth a good amount of money. But I will leave those for somebody else. What on earth is this? Part of a nightlight that somebody just decided to set on this shelf instead of putting it away. Oh, you are interesting looking. Very cloudy, very cloudy. Probably would clean up 
I would need a little bit of work to clean it up and I'm not into a little bit of work. Oh, and I find myself at the art. Of course I do. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's a photo album. This looks like one of those Victorian photograph albums, yeah. Really pretty, with like the birds and the flowers and stuff in it. I like those. Home is where, home is where the beach is? Oh, okay. Memories made at the beach last for a lifetime. Do they, do they really? I don't know that I believe that because uh, I have some beach memories that I have worked very hard to forget. <laughs> Just saying. Horses make me happy. Oh, Rachel definitely needs that on her shelf. Oh, there's a great Mickey and Minnie print with Pluto. It and is. It. it is. Uh, embossed so um, that is a there we go it's also the original frame it was $18 in Florida and now it's $2.99 and I am taking that home this was sitting back there this is a very vintage little frame and made to look like a little tortoise shell and it's a Lyra light is that what that says Lyra light very cool. It's not priced. I imagine they'll give it to me for like 99 cents or $1.99. So we're going to put that in the cart. All right. It's okay. I can get little pieces. Just can't get any big art. No big art. I see birds. Feather your nest with love and kindness. That's sweet. Don't need it though. Does this work? I don't know. Does it work? It does work. A little. You can even see the mechanism. Unchained melody. Now I have a music box playing in the background. Um, where this one spoiled rotten cat lives here. But does anybody have just one spoiled rotten cat? No. Mm. They might. They might. Usually there's more than one. I know. Usually there's more than one. I agree. That's different. Goodness. That's a weird piece. Ayo Arts. It was $9.99. So nothing again, nothing high end to begin with. Looks Hawaiian, maybe? Hmm. I saw this glass boat up here. It's an Avon, but it's kind of cool. All right, is there any big art here, Noah, that see any when I looked through earlier. Did you look through? Nothing exciting? Look at that mirror back there. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's a cool print. Of all the old books. I actually really like that a lot. No place to put it though. No place to go with it. Can you skip over the birds? I am skipping over the birds. I'm looking at the stained glass angel she's huge and she's only ten dollars here noah you hold her so i can see all of her hold her up to you so they can see how big she is i love her all right let's take a little peek at the lamps sometimes they get some really cool lamps in this store but i don't see anything <laughs> the eight ball is kind of fun Look, it's just hand painted. Somebody just painted a black based lamp with the eight ball. Ooh, I like the sea urchins. I do like the sea urchins. Always, he needs a little tightening up, doesn't he? Yeah. I got no place to put a sea urchin lamp though, so we will pass him. All right, nothing that I have to have today. Wow, those are really nice too. Look at these. Big old lantern. Like you could put plants or you could put something it looks like it's in there. At the top. Well, I think that's just, it's just made to look, it's supposed to look like the old gas lamps kind of a, a look. So they're newer. Why couldn't you put an actual fire in it? 
Ooh, I wouldn't want to put an actual fire in that, Noah. It's wood and glass. Definitely not made for actual fire. Uh, but nice thinking. All right, anything special in the pillows tonight? I don't see anything. I don't see anything in the pillows. We'll check the textiles over here. Kids linens. Sometimes I find really cute little quilts and things in the kids' linens, but not right now. My goodness, the pillows were not done. There's pillows over here, and there's pillows over here. Sheets. I tend to not really look at the sheets. But I do look at pillow covers. I have found some really spectacular pillow covers at this store, in fact. So I always look through those, but nothing tonight. Noah, Noah, I found poo on the shelf. Uh-oh. What am I gonna do with him? It's not even baby Yoda. That's not baby Yoda, that's old man Yoda right there. He's kind of cool, he is Star Wars. Lucasfilms branded. He's small. It looks like that was supposed to be held on there a little tighter. He is $3.99 though. You know what? I think I'm going to pass him. All right. Here is me being picky with a card full of stuff. It looks the same as when you're not picky. He says it looks the same as when I'm not picky. Oh no. Oh no, son. I've, I've filled that cart to overflowing before trust me so we're gonna go check out you stay tuned for the recap i'll tell you everything that i bought what i paid for it and how much it is valued at for resale coming up right now
one of the best things about this store is you can still take your carts out to the car. That was fun. Was it fun? Yeah. Was it? <laughs> was that fun? Ah! <laughs> Tweaking the camera here. All right. So we spent, I forget what the total was. One. One like 20 something. 120 something for everything. And you didn't see everything because there was a couple little things that got grabbed for personal use. So usually happens. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. You've seen the recap by now. I don't know what that total is as of the time of this recording because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure I got some pretty high profit items in there that um, we're just on a roll. We're on a roll. And I got, on a roll and we're going to keep on rolling. We are going to keep on rolling because we're going to go to another store. But that's going to be on the next video. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that little bell notification, little dealy hooly thing there so that YouTube will tell you when I upload a new video. I super duper appreciate it. And uh, I always love your comments too. I read every comment. I, I try to. And Noah does too. Uh, so you can, yeah, I was going to say, squishy, squishy over here, son. Get yourself in the picture. Get a little closer. All right. Um, <laughs> I love this boy. All right. With that, we're off. We're off to go pick up Rachel for the next one, though. She, as much as she may not want to, she has to go with us. So Rachel will be shopping on the next door. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. <laughs> make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>